Hey, um, firstly, sorry if I seem a bit flat today. I feel a bit flat today. I'm struggling a little bit with my anxiety and depression, so there we go. Let's get that out of the way first. Um, but about ten days ago, two weeks ago, something like that, I ordered um, a tarot deck and an oracle deck from Hay House. They had to say it, well, they still have a sale on. And uh, today, this arrived. So, firstly, there's some little priority letter thing on the front, which I'm going to open first. Oh, God. I should have come armed with scissors. That would have been more sensible. Ah. less important bit, which I assume is a receipt. Whoop. Yes, that is my receipt, right. So now, ha ha ha. Oof. That opened easier than I thought it would actually. Oof, bubble wrap. Apologies for the squeakiness and the popping. And another receipt. Wonderful. Two receipts. Winning. Okay, so full wrap. The decks that I bought were are Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris Carr and wow, this is a thick one. Fairy Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I know everybody has the fairy tarot cards right now and everyone is reviewing them and that but I couldn't resist them. They look really cute so I'm opening these first. If I can get into them. Oh god. Um, okay. Ooh, oh they're so pretty. Right, so that's a pretty sturdy box. Oh they feel good. They feel good, yep. Oh, I can't get into it. The box is all stuck. Ah. Ha ha. So, comes with a guidebook. Ooh. Oh, it's quite a thick guidebook. Oh, it smells, it smells of new. Oh, like the smell of new. Now, I don't know whether you already know, but the fairy tarot cards, some of the cards and the suit names have been changed. So it doesn't work entirely. Well, it, it, it's basically it's tarot, but it's fairy tarot. So it's all slightly different. Oh. Oh. Ha ha. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, they're all pretty and silvery gilted edges. Oh, that's the backing. Oh, how beautiful is that? Oh, I love it already. They're quite big cards. So this is the fool, but he is, or she is, the dreamer. Oh, there's a little doggy and they all come with, so they've already got messages on. So even though you've got the book, but the essential message is also on the card as well, so that's nice that you don't have to, if you're, if you're a noob like me, you don't have to go into the book and you don't have to read the bit at the bottom, you know, you can always go intuitively and buy the images and what have you. Oh wow, look at that. Three of Winter. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cards. Oh wow. Oh, Princess of Winter. What a stonker. Yes, I just used the word stonker. <laughs> I don't know why. 
Oh, they're beautiful. I'm really pleased I bought these. I was a bit, I'd seen, I've seen reviews of them and I was like, mm, do I buy them? They look really pretty and really good, but am I really going to feel them, you know? But I do. I definitely do. So yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll stop going on now. Okay. I'll put them back in the box and go through them myself later. Oh, I can't get them in the box. There they go. There they go. Right, okay. In the box. Ooh. Right. So the second lot are Crazy Sexy Love Notes. Um, and these are 52 powerful reminders to love and appreciate yourself from the inside out. And I thought I could probably do with these. <laughs> and the uh, artwork, as you'll see in a moment, is really... I don't know what the word is. It's, it's just really... I don't know. I've forgotten what the word is. We'll see. Oh, the box feels different. This is like a shiny box. This is like a matte finish box. That's nice. A bit different. I've got to get in the box again now. Okay. Oh. So, there is a note on the first card. Oh. And now I've got to get into them. <laughs> come off, come off, let me in. Thank you. Okay, so there's a, a note. Let's have a look at this. Dear friends, tells you the intention behind writing the cards. And a little introduction to the author and the artist, which is nice. Now, the thing that has been said about these cards is that it can be difficult to shuffle and uh, draw them because with tarot and a lot of oracle cards, you, most people, okay, not most people, a lot of people, some people, draw them and put them face down. So you can't see what they are. Whereas these, they have, that would be sort of the face up, but there is also writing on the other side that explains the card. Um, which I think, for me, I think it will encourage me to sort of go go blind, if you like, go, and close my eyes and just go with my intuition. Um, but the artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Notice the blessings. Tell me about it. Be gentle with yourself. And like I say, each each card has also the information on the back, which is really nice. And to be honest, I think I prefer it this way, with the, the full, no border, nothing. So you can really focus on the information and the picture and that on, on the main, on the front of the card. And then if you feel maybe you need a little bit more, you can turn it over. That's just my thinking. Invite your fears to tea. Wise words there. Wise, wise words. So yes, I'm very pleased with these as well. And the problem I am having at the moment <laughs> is that they've still got a sale on. And uh, I really want to buy some more cards. Really, really want to buy some more cards. <laughs> There's four decks that I'm looking at now and it's quite a lot of money for me it's not like a huge amount of money but for me with no income it is a lot of money <sighs> and I really really want them oh really really want them so anyway that's irrelevant that was my unboxing it's my first ever unboxing that I've ever done uh, of the fairy tarot cards and crazy sexy love notes and yeah, I'm really pleased I bought both of them. I really am. And I feel a bit happier now as well. Yay! See you later!